So why do I have to get a survey and what exactly does a surveyor doing? Hi, I'm Chuck Vosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay, along with my wife, Pat, your favorite realtors. And the question comes up pretty often, why do I need a survey when I'm buying a piece of real estate? Lenders require a survey. They're looking for things that are encroachments. In other words, they want to make sure that nobody else has a structure that's overlapping your property or vice versa, that nothing that's sitting on your property is overlapping the neighbor's property. So when the surveyor comes out, he's looking for those sort of things. And uh, usually the things that we find that are encroachments are fences. Because when people put up a fence, like I was just at one this morning, and uh, they kind of lined it up with a utility pole, but this fence was a couple of inches over into their neighbor's yard. Now, that's not a problem, but the buyer needs to know about that because, you know, the neighbor could ask them to move it. Now, of course, that never happens. But sometimes uh, someone will have a shed in the backyard and, and it's sticking into the neighbor's property a little bit or vice versa. And most people don't care, but you need to know about it so that it can be fixed. Now, those things are easy to fix. But what if someone put an addition on their house and, uh, you know, maybe they did it without getting a survey or plans or permits and everything, and they just built the thing themselves and it's sticking over into the neighbor's yard. Well, then that's a problem because you can't just easily move an addition. You can't just chop off part of it. So these things need to be known. A lender does not want to lend on a property that has encroachments. Now, here's how it works. The surveyor will come out to the property and what they're looking for are iron stakes that are pounded into the ground. When the property is first mapped out, iron stakes are pounded into the ground at each corner of the piece of property and they're looking for these iron stakes. If they're there, it makes it super easy because he can kind of measure up against those, verify that against public records, and it's all simple. He'll measure the property, measure whatever structures are on the property, and make a drawing that's accurate for showing the boundaries, showing the easements, showing what improvements are on the property, and then that's given to the lender and it's official. So if these iron stakes are missing, or usually there's one or two missing, because sometimes when people put in a fence, they unknowingly will take this iron stake out when they're digging their holes, not knowing what it is. So if that's the case, then the surveyor will use whatever stakes are there. And with their equipment, they figure out by measuring and, and doing math to figure out and they'll put a new stake in. Sometimes if there's a existing survey, like perhaps the people bought the property and they had to have a survey made, if it's recent enough, your lender will accept that one and you won't have to go to the expense of getting your own survey. But anyway, surveys are important. If you're paying cash, they're not required, but we always recommend that you get it anyway because you want to know if there's any encroachments and also when you sell the property, if you have a survey in hand that you can give to the buyer, well, that's that's going to save them some money and that's uh that's a good deal for everybody involved because they'll be more interested in buying your property cuz they're going to save a little bit of money. So I'm Chuck Vosberg. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if you know somebody who's thinking about moving, we'd sure love to talk. There's no strings attached. We put humans over houses. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.